entire Marvel Cinematic Universe is laid out in a way that's easy for fans around the world to enjoy. And today I'm excited to talk about the expansion and future of the MCU. As you may know, the Cinematic Universe weaves storylines and heroes and villains across 23 feature films to date. And with Disney+, Plus, we're able to extend this way of storytelling to a new format, creating series that are connected to our theatrical releases, making the MCU more immersive than ever. There's a lot of new content coming from Marvel Studios, so let's get started. WandaVision will be the very first Marvel Studios series on Disney+. Plus. Wanda and Vision are two of our most powerful and complex heroes, and this series is a perfect expansion point for MCU storytelling. Launching on Disney Plus on January 15th, here's a look at the brand new trailer for WandaVision. around this big house. Well, I assure you, I'm married to a man, a human one. Wanda. What's it rain and I ride? Why do you sleep out the We are an unusual couple. Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. We just don't know what to expect. Elizabeth Olsen is currently in London right now. She's shooting the film Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness with director Sam Raimi, star Benedict Cumberbatch, and the rest of the cast, including Benedict Wong, Rachel McAdams, and Chuta Ajifor. And joining them is a new fan favorite character from the comics, America Chavez, played by Sochi Gomez. This film hits theaters March 25th, 2022, and we're really pushing the boundaries of storytelling with this thrilling, scary, mind-bending adventure. Not only will Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness connect directly to the events of WandaVision, but it will also connect to the events of our new Spider-Man film coming to theaters December 2021. Moving to our next series for Disney+, Plus, which launches this coming March, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier features two recognizable superheroes last seen together in the final moments of Avengers Endgame. Sam Wilson, a.k.a. The Falcon, is played by Anthony Mackie, and Bucky Barnes, The Winter Soldier, is played by Sebastian Stan. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is a cinematic experience. It's a Marvel Studios movie played out over six episodes. And now here for the first time is an exclusive look at the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The legacy of that shield is complicated. get behind. They need the symbol. So what's our plan? So no plan.
what's going on in that cyborg brain of yours. You don't want to know. Oh, yeah, I can see it working. Gears turning. Oh, they're malfunctioning. They're on fire. God, I hate you. Now to another hero we last saw in Avengers Endgame, Black Widow will return to the big screen on May 7th, 2021. Of course, the film stars Scarlett Johansson as Natasha Romanoff. Fans have been patient, and I can't tell you just how ready we are for this Avenger to finally have her own standalone film. And speaking of fan favorite characters, Loki. The god of mischief will step out of his brother's shadow and into his own series on Disney Plus in May of next year. The great Tom Hiddleston returns as Loki and is joined in the series by Owen Wilson, Gugum Batha Ra, Sophia DiMartino, Mumni Mosaku, and Richard E. Grant. As with our other shows coming to Disney Plus, we want to try something a little different. Explore a new genre for us at Marvel Studios. So we've put Loki in the center of his own crime thriller. If that sounds a little unusual or confusing, don't worry. Loki is just as confused. Here's the very first look at Loki. You're taking me somewhere to kill me. No, I'm taking you someplace to talk. Where well, I don't like to talk. But you do like to lie, which you just did. Because we both know you love to talk. Talky, talky. How long have you been here? I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, time passes differently here in the TVA. What does that mean? You'll catch up. <laughs> Shifting to Marvel Studios' first animated series, coming to Disney Plus next summer, What If? flips the script on the MCU, taking famous events from the films and reimagining them in unexpected ways. We've assembled a stellar voice cast with many MCU stars reprising their roles. Here's a look at What If? Space. Time. Reality. It's more than a linear path. It's a prism of endless possibility. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. I was promised an army. Yes. 
super soldier. You sure don't seem too freaked out about all this, kid. What you doing out there all by yourself anyway? Exploring the world. Sounds fun. But why stop at one world when we can show you all of them? I am the Watcher. I am your guide through these vast new realities. Follow me and dare to face the unknown. And ponder the question. What if? Give me the tour. We've just wrapped production in Australia on our film Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. And we're so impressed the way Simu Liu has brought the character of Shang-Chi to life. Simu is surrounded on screen by a fantastic cast that includes Aquafina, Tony Leung, and Michelle Yeoh. This film is among the very first in our Phase 4 and is set to release in theaters on July 9th, 2021. Launching on Disney Plus later next year is Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel is a Pakistani-American teen superhero. Earlier this year during shutdown, we held online auditions all around the world to find our Kamala Khan. And we found her in Aman Vellani. Aman will be surrounded by a phenomenal cast and creative team that will bring this story to life. So here's an early look at Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel is a new kind of superhero. But at the core of all of it, her story is so universal. Miss Marvel is one of the newer characters in the Marvel comics. And when one comes in that grabs the world's imagination like this, the questions are, when are we going to bring Miss Marvel to the screen? When Miss Marvel first came out, we had such an incredible reaction. It was so incredibly popular because everybody could see themselves in her. I never saw a young teenager of color, specifically a Pakistani, in a comic book. Are you kidding? I promised you'd be cool. I am cool. The casting process was vast. When we discovered Iman, we knew that she was Kamala Khan. It was a unanimous decision. Yeah, I can't comprehend this right now. And then, of course, we've got a really incredible team of directors, Bilal Fala, Adel Al Arbi, Mira Menon, and Sharmino Bey Chinoy. And all of them are taking the material and elevating it. So human, it's about a teenager figuring out who she is and about relationships. Family and friendship is at the heart of the MCU canon. That's what's so exciting about the story that we're bringing is that we're going to introduce you to a new family that's also going to be part of the wider MCU. fact about Miss Marvel is that her idol is Captain Marvel. And Captain Marvel 2 is currently in the works with director Nia DaCosta. And today I'm excited to announce that Miss Marvel, played by Iman, will be joining Brie Larson and co-starring in Captain Marvel 2, along with a grown-up Monica Rambeau, played by Tiana Paris, whom we will have already met in the upcoming WandaVision. So by now you should start getting a sense of the interconnectedness that infuses all of our storytelling. But that doesn't mean there aren't some unexplored corners of the universe. With next year's Eternals, we're introducing a brand new ensemble of superheroes to the MCU, played by a spectacular cast. This is an epic story spanning thousands of years, and it's one of our most ambitious films yet. It's set for theatrical release on November 5th, 2021. Original Avenger Jeremy Renner returns to star in Hawkeye, launching on Disney Plus late next year. In our series, Hawkeye teams up with another well-known archer from Marvel Comics, Kate Bishop. And I'm very pleased to confirm that Kate will be played by the amazing Haley Steinfeld. Rounding out that cast are Vera Farmiga, Fra Fee, and newcomer Alakwa Cox playing Maya Lopez. The episodes are being directed by Reese Thomas and the directing duo of Bert and Birdie. Debuting for the first time in the MCU, She-Hulk is coming to Disney+. Plus. It's a series about a woman trying to navigate the world and be taken seriously as a working professional, despite the fact that she's well over six foot seven and green. 
It's a very funny series being directed by Kat Coiro and Anu Valia. And I can officially confirm that She-Hulk slash Jennifer Walters will be played by the talented and Emmy Award winning Tatiana Maslany. I'm also pleased to reveal that the brilliant Tim Roth is returning as the Abomination, a character we first introduced to the MCU in 2008's The Incredible Hulk. And if that's not enough, I can confirm that the Hulk himself, Mark Ruffalo, will be appearing in the series as well. And since Jennifer Walters is a lawyer who specializes specifically in superhero-oriented legal cases, you never know what Marvel characters are going to pop up from episode to episode. Bringing a whole new different vibe to the MCU, Moon Knight is an action-adventure, Indiana Jones-type story coming to life as a Disney Plus series directed by Mohamed Diab. The character Moon Knight is a complex vigilante who suffers from disassociative identity disorder. And these multiple identities that live inside him are very distinct characters in the series. The backdrop of our story is incredible Egyptian iconography. Egyptology is something the world's always been fascinated by, and we're going to tap into it in a fun and bold way in Moon Knight. Now I want to talk about a couple of projects that we haven't announced yet. The first of which is Secret Invasion, coming to Disney+. Plus. Samuel L. Jackson is back as Nick Fury, and Ben Mendelsohn from Captain Marvel returns as the Skrull, Talos. Next to Civil War, Secret Invasion is arguably the biggest crossover comic event in the last 20 years, and we're bringing it to Disney+. Plus. It's about a sect of Skrulls who have infiltrated every level of life on Earth. Ironheart will be a series for Disney Plus about genius inventor Riri Williams, who has the most advanced suit of armor since Iron Man's. Dominique Thorne will play the title role. And as we like to do, both Secret Invasion and Ironheart will tie directly to MCU feature films. We're also well underway on a series for Disney Plus based on Armor Wars, a classic Marvel story about Tony Stark's worst fear coming true. It's what happens when his tech falls into the wrong hands. And this series will star a beloved member of the MCU, Don Cheadle, who will be returning as Jim Rhodes, a.k.a. War Machine. One of the best things about expanding the MCU to Disney+, Plus is that our team at Marvel Studios is finally able to do some of the things we've always wanted to do, but didn't quite have the right outlet for. Like produce, our first ever live-action holiday special. In a reverent Guardians fashion, the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special is going to be a lot of fun, especially since James Gunn is back to write and direct. In fact, we're going to shoot it during production of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This special will drop the holiday prior to the next Guardians of the Galaxy film, which hits theaters in 2023. And speaking of Guardians, aptly titled I Am Groot, everyone's favorite little tree, Baby Groot, will star in a series of shorts on Disney+, Plus, featuring several new and unusual characters. Before I go, I couldn't leave you without giving a few more updates on some of our most anticipated upcoming films. In January, we'll begin filming Thor, Love and Thunder with director Taika Waititi and Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman and Tessa Thompson returning. And I'm pleased to confirm that Academy Award winning actor Christian Bale is playing the villain, Gore the God Butcher. Thor, Love and Thunder releases in theaters on May 6, 2022. As we announced at Comic-Con last year, we're moving ahead with Blade, starring Academy Award winner Mahershala Ali. The development and storylines are coming together, and we'll have announcements very, very soon. Director Peyton Reed is hard at work with our Marvel Studios team on the third Ant-Man film, which will officially be called Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Douglas, and Michelle Pfeiffer are all returning, and Catherine Newton is joining the cast and playing Cassie Lang. And in the role of Kang the Conqueror, we have a great actor, Jonathan Majors. I wanted to acknowledge the devastating loss of a dear friend and member of the Marvel Studios family. Chadwick Boseman was an immensely talented actor and an inspirational individual who affected all of our lives professionally and personally. His portrayal of T'Challa the Black Panther is iconic and transcends any iteration of the character in any other medium from Marvel's past. And it's for that reason that we will not recast the character. However, to honor the legacy that Chad helped us build through his portrayal of the King of Wakanda, we want to continue to explore the world of Wakanda and all of the rich and varied characters introduced in the first film. Writer-director Ryan Coogler is hard at work on the sequel now and will bring the film to you in theaters July 8, 2022. And finally, I'm happy to announce a film about one of the truly iconic Marvel families. In fact, Marvel's first family, Fantastic Four. We're working on a feature now, and it will be directed by the director of our recent Spider-Man films, John Watts. 
We've got a lot in store at Marvel Studios, and Disney Plus is key to the interconnection and expansion of the MCU. It will be home for both our future films and our series for years and years to come. Since Marvel first joined Disney back in 2009, Bob Iger's been the biggest champion of the work that we do. None of this would have been possible without his support. So it is now my pleasure to turn things back over to Bob. Thank you.